So in the meantime, um, I when Netslayer logged on earlier, I logged on and was helping him out, showing him around, showing him a few of the things that have been built since he last showed up. And uh, I realized I've been doing updates on the server, uh, but since kind of partially twiddling thumbs until the, until I feel like it's time to update, uh, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. So let's do a server tour. I haven't done kind of a comprehensive server tour before. Uh, we are right now in the nether. This is the what we call the community portal. This was the location in the nether of the very first nether portal that got built in the game. Um, and that was built in the community area. It's not exactly in the same spot where it is now. We did relocate it, but um, it, it popped up here on this sort of hillside and there's the nether fortress right down here at the end of this hallway. And of course the hallway was not here. I built that, but that's uh, uh, it seemed like a good sort of starting point in the nether because we have another fortress right here. Hey dude. Oops. Switch to the bow. Ow! There we go. Hi, Mr. Wither Skeleton. Please give me your skull. No, you did not. Let me do one more. Uh, I built out this. Hi. I built out the fortress, and I laid out, um, the, ah, my concrete surrounded all the pathways. So this is the, uh, the floor area is the area where the, the fortress itself had generated. There's another guy down there. I put in white concrete because it's easier to spot the beasties against it than it is the nether, oh, that's just a skeleton. Let's get rid of him, because he's annoying. Hi! Please give me your skull. No. Okay. Anyway, so the... So, based on where that portal happened, I enclosed in this, the uh, the portal and started building out our nether network. Uh, the location, the height, and the location of the tunnels is purely happens to be built around where this portal generated in the first place. So not uh, not super thoughtful. Uh, I would, if I were to redo all this now, which of course I'm not, I would set it at the same height as the nether fortress itself. But even that's somewhat arbitrary. Let's step through here and check out the community area. So I chose this particular seed because there was a big bay and the spawn was on a small island in the middle of the bay and then we had all this stuff around and this area here was all uh, savanna biome so it doesn't rain here which is kind of nice and we have mountains nearby risk and sea of course came on and immediately before I even while well, I was just sort of scouting things around started plopping down and building his little build his little house on top of this mountain here which is where I was planning on building mine but I didn't get to it fast enough so he claimed it I'm on the mountain just past that um, I built a lighthouse here and there's a beacon in it which gives you regen and, and resistance so that if you are down here and you happen to get attacked by something it'll give you a chance of uh, surviving and the idea was that you would spawn on the spawn island and then hop in a boat and sail over here. And so we have the welcome center. This is welcome. And this is a little starting point for people. Little hostels. Um, we just got them named. But we don't have anybody using them at the moment either. Uh, so we do have people who have sort of claimed them but uh, haven't really consistently played. Um, so this is... Uh, yeah, um, so we have people who logged on once or twice and then kind of haven't. So we have a little space where they can start out and then we have chests here with stuff so you can get some food and you can get some armor and weapons and tools and stuff. It's all very good. Uh, <clears throat> and then 
we uh, FaxFX built a post office here, which is cool. Blah, 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 blah. So if you put something in one of these, the redstone lamp above it flashes, and then it flashes the redstone lamps out here, so you know, oh, there's new mail in the mail in the post office. And so the intention here was to build stuff that everybody could use. So there's a little wood farm here. And there's a little surplus shop where if you have extras of something, you can just sort of throw it in here because, you know, everyone ends up with more horse armor than they and saddles than they know what to do with. Uh, and then we have lots of kind of mediocre bows, but they can be built into something. And I should bring some, like the cactus farm is almost overflowing. I should bring some cactus over here for this. So this is stuff that people might find useful. Oh, look at that. Somebody, somebody bounced a check. And, uh, this building here was, is the entrance to the mine. So this was the, I started this to give people an idea of how to mine so we could all be mining in the same spot and not run into everybody, each other. And that's, it has largely worked. I'm kind of happy with how that worked out. We don't run into the same problems where you're constantly digging into other people's mine shafts. Uh, so, and I built a little potion shop here, so I've got some stuff in here, and, uh, I've got like, hey, look, bottles, yeah, there's lots and lots of bottles and, and stuff, and of course I've got so many now at the witch farm, it's not even funny, so we got all this stuff, and I've been, been, uh, putting out some, some potions for people, if they want to buy them, they can, but nobody has. Because people don't, people on the server don't use potions a huge amount. Um, and then next to the surplus shop, or actually, I think the surplus shop was built in between this and the wood farm, built a library. I'm actually, I'm super, I'm super excited about this build. Hi, Mr. Librarian. Uh, so I've got books, and they're organized kind of by category. So if you need books for your weapons and books for your tools because uh, you know end up with lots of lots of books and then we have donation chests there and a book return and of course none of that and then Barb makes things built as beautiful crash space replica so this is a pretty much scale version of crash space the hacker space that most of us on the server belong to in Cobra City California this is actually the, the building built out in real life. Um, there is, for instance, a second door, but there's a chair sitting in front of it. And this is the big room table in the front room. And there's the projector. And here's the screen where we project stuff. And the water cooler is here. And we have cabinets. And we have these two hallways. The space was originally two buildings that were next to each other. The bathroom is here. And there's uh, another bathroom here. Oops. And we have a shower in there and people just kind of arbitrarily leave weird stuff inside the shower. So if somebody's ever missing something, the suggestion is, well, look in the shower. Uh, this is the library and we have books in here and we have 3D printers and sewing machines and stuff. And then in here is what we call the kitchen. And this, there's a little fridge here and people have lockers and my locker is right here. Oh, look, I've got some gold in there. And we have shelving and all that good stuff. The cabinet for the chemicals is here Bloop. and <clears throat> Barb used the uh, poison cabinet left uh, she used the the custom map generator to generate maps to put on all these to do the decoration uh, this is shop one and it's a space and it's nowhere near this clean but it's a space where people can work on their mostly electronics projects we have the laser cutter here and ventilation from the laser cutter workbenches and then we got four cabinets from a radio shack and nearby radio shack as they close down and we put them up here in their parts drawers and they're really fantastic and then shop two is like the machine shop we have a little tiny closet that's not terribly usable but we have a bandsaw and a cnc mill and a lathe and and a cnc mill and and all that and then out back we have a the wood shed or the bike shed and then we have other things here we have like 
scroll saw and we have like a vacuum former and all that good stuff and of course it's open because people kind of leave it open anyway so that's that and then we have another shed out a cat a little shed out behind it's kind of our junk shed and uh, that's not here but that's all good and then uh, and then this is the concrete farm that Barb makes things made so there's concrete powder and stuff up there for sale and then there's a little area down here that you can flood with water and lay down concrete powder and turn it into concrete blocks very nice um, and then and then we get into build so Riskensi built this tower and this stable thing and then this thing um, the tower out behind is Vex FX's place up on the hillside here is Bart makes things place and her farm there um, and then one of the first places on the server where people started building houses outside of the mountaintops that Risk and C and I did is this here and this is uh, Netslayer's house up there he's got a nice little modern house and he's got his animal farms here and <clears throat> He was talking about building out a bigger place. And he's doing it over here. We saw it from the air. There he is. So this is his place. And he's building out a foundation for a tower. He's going to build a skyscraper. So looking forward to seeing that. He's already started. Um, take it down. There we go. Very cool. Um, we could relocate this. These don't these don't need to be right here, but we got horses and donkeys and stuff for people. Yeehaw! Uh, for people if they want. And I think a couple of those are mine, but I don't think they're not tamed to specific people exactly. So, so anyway, that's the community area. Uh, I built this Christmas tree at Christmas time and was planning on taking it down, but everyone seemed to like it, so I kind of left it up. And it's in, since it's now September, and uh, and it's still insanely hot outside, so that's that's why the air conditioning noise. And I apologize for that, but it's uh, it's very hot today. So um, that's why the AC is on and why you can hear it. So that's uh, so this is the community area. Um, I will. I'll go let's go back home oh I put these here um, at craft space we got donated to us a, a, a couple two or four rolls of high power solar panels and they got put up on the roof and as far as I know as far as anyone seems to know they're still up there they're not actually connected to anything we're not actually using them but you know these are the rolls of uh, of uh, solar panels. So this is my base. I have my elytra landing pad on the roof. I put a tree in here as my mini tree farm. I've lit things up. You can see down there my artificial village. Uh, but I'll save that all that stuff for next time. Let me just show you the quickie stuff right here in my base, which you've probably seen. But here's sort of the main. This is how it started out. I built this sort of oval sticking out from the uh, the mountain wall, and it's kind of unfinished on the inside. And I built kind of the essentials: a bed, crafting, and then I put my potion brewing stuff here. So a little bit of storage very quickly outgrew this and my enchanting table and an anvil so I dug down a floor there we go and built in addition in addition to my super smelter or what was at the time a super smelter I built storage so I built out a storage area which now feels cramped but this is my primary storage built a, another portal and and below that I built out a little I got when I got to my psyllium I built out a mushroom farm a little bit of uh, cocoa beans 
and down here nether wart when I needed a larger supply of nether wart. So these were, I dug these out and they were all kind of intended to be just kind of utility spaces that I would figure out what to do with and build them out. And I just kept digging down when I needed a new space. This is my bulk storage. And although here, I mean, it's just stuff like, oh, I've got tons of stone. But now that we have shulker boxes, this is kind of, isn't super useful because I can just start transferring extra stuff into shulker boxes. And my goal is to start filling these up with shulker boxes filled with these things. Okay. And then this floor is my little, my little pet area. So I've got cats and dogs and, and parrots and the pooches. Bullwinkle and Sir Pups a lot and Snoopy, Wilbur, Orville, and not all these guys have names. Interesting. And I was in here one time when uh, I was off in the distance. I screwed up my lighting pattern. Oh, that's going to drive me nuts. Um, and. Uh, Vexfx said before I had animals here, or when I had animals here, but before I had completely grassed in the whole area, Vexfx went and planted flowers over all of this, and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I told them, okay, that's that's cute and all, but how about you clean it up? So it came in with a bucket of water, which normally would work, but the thing is, if you pour water on a tame dog that's sitting and its owner is somewhere on the server, the dog will teleport to the owner. Even if the owner is thousands of blocks away, in a cave, somewhere else. And that's what happened. All my dogs teleported to me, and <laughs> um, and I was, I was in a ravine fighting off skeletons and stuff, so the dogs actually helped with that, but one of them died. It was unpleasant. I have another floor here that's dug out, and it, basically I dig out until I run into the side of the mountain and then I kind of enclose it. I think this is my last floor. Um, if I go down to this point, this is a little walkway and I can close this so I can walk up to the ladder. It's not strictly necessary. And this is my exit to the outside world from behind the waterfall and down to my dock. So I can come down here, hop in a boat and sail away. My house is all the way up there. So anyway, that's, uh, that's my community area and house server tour. Uh, next time I will show some of the stuff I built down below in my artificial village area and sort of my first sort of set of farms. And then we'll go into the nether and start showing you out other stuff. We'll look at XFX's place and Barb makes things place and, and then go out and look at things like the witch farm and Stuff that you've probably seen, but some of them haven't been on camera in a while. So we'll go ahead and cover all that. And so you can look forward to that. So that's it for now. Hope this wasn't too long. Uh, but thanks for watching. This is Theron, and I will see you next time. Bye.